This conference will now be recorded. Let me go through securities. How to create uh, users, back to back to users, AD users, and also and how to assign permissions or roles to the users. Right. And we have select athletic users can be assigned for individual users. So that's a big advantage. Right. So we'll start with today. VPCs, special private network, special private network, sorry, private clouds. So we all know what is VPC. Like, want to have a isolated network and for more network uh, for more security purpose, you can go with VPCs. And then let's back to let's say VPCs because we all know what exactly the purpose. We know exactly how the things works in VPCs. So go with all services. The reporting service here, and then you have virtual private networks. It's great virtual networks. So it's like saying you understand it, right? So like this is a VPC. Okay. So, now, so let's say a VPC, I mean VPN, VPC, whatever. Let's go with it. And so I'm creating VPN. Click on add. So, yeah, we'll select your subscription type and resource group. So, let's pick the same resource group and then resource group. And then, so give some name to the VPC. So, let's say VPC1. And then the region. Just select some region there and next IP addresses. So this is a side of block. We know the concept of side of blocks, right? right? So go with the side of block and the side block is 10.0.0.0 slash Tokyo. Okay. This is a side of block. And then going with uh, so it cannot overlap with the subnets. Okay, we all know that. Okay. So other space overlaps with the other spaces of total. Okay. So we have another VPN and this IP address overlaps with that other one. Okay, that's okay. Then. We'll change this. It's not within the side of block 24 instead. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. Let the over they look overlap it. Okay. We'll do one thing. We go with 1.0. Okay, let's go with 1.0. Okay. So if I go with 0, 0.0, that is overlap overlapping with my another network. So I'm taking another uh, so sided block there. Okay, fine. And the next thing is. Submit name, you can create a submit or you can add in a uh, submit here. Of course, I'm creating a submit. Okay, so we know that the submit uh, submit must be within the range of uh, VPC, right? We know that concept. Then the submit name, so VPC one submit. So if you see one submit and then side block, 
the cider block must be within the range of C, uh, which is the cider block, 10 dot 0 dot 1 dot 0, okay, slash 24. So that's good. That's within the range, right? So uh, even here also, for Azure result addresses, okay, just like even in AWS, you have result addresses. So you can create only 24 with uh, type C. We are going with type C cider block. Okay, and then just state add it. So VPC one subnet. Now select the subnet. That's our subnet. Okay, and then go with next. And we don't need these default ones, right? We don't need default ones. Remove that subnet. Remove that. So I want only this one. I don't know. I don't want the default ones. Okay. So that's all. Anyway, that is, that is within the submit within the VPC. And next is NACL, Network Access Control List. Okay. So you want to create a bastion instance for us, you can create a bastion host. Right. So you want to create a bastion instance. So you can create a bastion name. So this bastion instance, so will help us to log in from outside. But this is in public IP. So I don't need any kind of bastion instances, public uh, subnet I mean. But if you are going with the private subnet, you need bastion instances. So you want to create a bastion instance as well. You can create a bastion instance. So this is another kind of advanced feature which we don't find it in AWS. While you create a VPC, you cannot create a bastion instance. You need to create a different instance and then you create a bastion over there. So, but here you can do that, okay. That's an advantage, and you can go with some bastion. Okay, that can that is possible, but I don't want that bastion. Uh, so this is like protection plan. Uh, this is a protection. Uh, what do you call? Uh, it gives kind of more uh, protection from outside attacks. So if you have any kind of outside ones, and in that cases you want to get some notifications triggered, then so this is a protection plan, DDoS, okay? Then, but that is paid actually. It's not a free service, it's a paid service. You can see there. So it's a paid service. So you want to create some production there. You can create some production plan over there. Okay, something available, but that is, okay. And then you have, so firewall, and you can, you want to provide some more security. So to the instances, so I mean, your VPC is of course, and then you can go with that. So go with next anyway, and just a tag name. Just go with that and review and create it. Violation pass, let's create that VPC, we begin. Go to the VPC. Okay, so here we have so VPC created, and then so gonna be where are they? Let's see. Submits. Here we have the submits. Okay, so VPC one submit, and that's a VPC one submit. Okay, and then you can add more submits to it. So when you if you want to add more submits, you can add submits. Let's say VPC one, and then new submit, and then again the cider block. So that is important. Go with the cider block. And then, so there you see that you want to attach a NAT gateway. Okay. So if you want to attach a NAT gateway, you must create a NAT gateway. So then that will be your private submit. Yeah. So otherwise, this will be your public submit. When you attach NAT gateway, that will be a, a private. Yeah. 
we'll create that later in there. So network security group, you have any kind of security groups already created, you can enter security groups, then save it. You don't have any route tables as well, we create a route table, we do it. That is your, okay, let's go with these VPs, the subnets, go with these subnets. Okay. So these are the subnets again, the same thing, same settings. Okay, right. then, right. so go with securities, check the securities, what kind of securities are assigned. Securities in the sense, Second, load in security center. Oh, this is an like it's expected. Yeah. yeah, this is like a paid kind of service again. Okay, so which is that more security can provide more security, and this is an pay as you go. Yeah, this is not a free one, this is a pay as you go. You can provide security to the instances. And you can provide security to the so databases. Like you can do these things. Well, anyway, that's a paid one. So we need to update our account. Then, yeah, that's uh, pretty much anyway. It's nothing too much. Then, if you want to add a, a kind of instance into the top uh, VPC I've created, then go to compute. Then whenever you want to create a virtual machine, right? You just add an instance. So select the resource group. Select the appropriate resource code, otherwise, so the PPC won't be appeared. Okay, and then you have just give a name instance one in PPC one. Okay, then the region availability options, the availability options, and issues. Okay, just go with the default settings. So go the default settings and here, these are inbound ports, okay. And then next, okay, go with the next also. And there is your network. And then virtual network, I'll create it. This is a virtual network, i create it. And in that, there I have two subnets, right? I can see this, two subnets. So which subnet you like to create it? So that is my subnet. Okay. And then yeah. so the security is basic one, inbound rules, inbound ports, just allow all the ports. So inbound rules. Okay. We talk about the files in later. Okay. But before we do that, so let's create instance, but I go back to the basic settings and in the settings and then so go with this so the public key pair instead of key pair one second scroll up okay so you see and then select these ones we forgot to do these kind of availability options there With Ubuntu, that will be my image. And then the size of the instance. I think that's the basic one I've selected. According to the cost, where is it cost? It's loading.
think it's already selected. Okay. Okay, it's selected. But can can I select this? I'm just uh, okay, let's see. Because will it allow us change the basic options? May reset selections you have made. Review all the uh, creation virtual machines. Yeah. Okay. Some regions they don't allow this minimum configurations. Okay. Some regions they don't allow it, but we'll see. That's okay. And then inbound ports, 22 is a port. Go with the password, okay? And go with this password. Well, public key would be, do you have any public keys? Should we create any public keys? Okay, we have one. Okay, we can use that. Mm -hmm. Next, next networking. We are all done with that network. Then just monitoring, enable this monitoring. You want to enable the monitoring. So finally, I just go back to review and then create. So let's create an instance. Just add a resource. So that it's public IP. Uh, it's creating a public IP. First, it was creating a network. That's a network. So they turn on plus one successfully. Okay. And then so go to the resource. And then so check this uh, IP address. There is a IP address, right? Then you have an IP address. And you want to assign a kind of a static IP address, elastic IP address. Simple, just click on the elastic, click on the IP address, click IP. Okay, you want to make it a static IP address? You can make it a static IP address. I think we know this, what is static IP. Right. So after the instance is restarted, I want to get the same IP address again. So you can go with, click on the IP, and from it is dynamic by default. So, and then change the static IP. Okay, so we will just discard it. If you see, and then where is the instance? Put a resource. And check the PC first. Networking. So there is our PC. Okay. 
So that's our VPC one. VPC. Okay. So VPC. And then uh, now you can check these inbound outbound rules, port numbers, inbound outbound rules. Okay. And that's a uh, IP range. So is it under same uh, within that IP range? Yeah, that's under the IP range. Right. So then securities, check the securities. Okay, this is like a paid thing, right? It's a paid thing. That's okay. You want to set up some security alarms, so it's all like paid versions. It's not available under three tier versions. Okay. Yeah, so then you want to go with uh, set up this kind of, you know, all these, these are instant properties. You want to make this instance as a So we can create an instance here. Okay. So, but you need to create a subnet. Okay. How you want to make this instance as a bastion instance? You can make this instance as a bastion instance. Okay. So, but so you can do it after the instance is creating, or else, like we have seen the previous day also. So that from that point on, from that uh, option also, you can make this instance as bastion instance. But anyway, so go back here, go back to the home page. And then I'm going to create another VPC. Before we create a VPC, so let's do one thing. I'm going to create an NAT gateway. Okay, let's create a NAT gateway. On the networking. So you have a NAT gateway should be here. So there is your NAT gateways. I'm creating a NAT gateway, then we can attach this NAT gateway to the subnet, and that subnet will be considered as a private subnet. So create a NAT gateway. Okay. So this host group, add gateway name. Add so, gateway one, and the region availability zones. Select some zone here. Zone one. Right. Ideal timeout. That's a timeout. Okay. So. We know what is timeouts, and the next is outbound rules. Now, so why we have outbound rules? Why don't we have? Why don't we have inbound rules? Now? See, NAT gateway. The concept is it allows the traffic only one way. That means from inside to outside. But outside is outside. It won't allow the traffic. Now you can put some restrictions here. Okay. So you have any public IPs? Go with. Okay. We are associating with some VPCs now. Mm. Okay, create a VPC, select a VPC, but we need a different VPC, right? Mm. So we create a VPC then, or shall we go with our existing one? We we'll try this, okay, see one IP. We use the same VPC one public IP. That is already associated with the network, right? Yeah, it's already associated. This is also associated. Okay, they're associated. We can't select them. We'll create one. It's okay. Create a new public IP. Or else, add so not mad. 
properly typed. Okay. And then just I want to go with the static one. Okay. So is nothing but it's an uh, what we call a unique kind of ID you can say. It's an ID. So is nothing but it's an ID. Okay. And then so any uh, public IP preferences, okay, there are no preferences. Next. Okay. Well, we do one thing. We create a VPC, we create a subnet, then we can attach that NAT gateway to the subnet. So we do that first. So because usually when you okay, fine, we'll just create that one first. Because it's asking us since you are creating a NAT gateway, the NAT gateway must attach with the VPC and also with the subnet, right? So now it's asking us to create a different, uh, or you can create one here itself, right? You can create one from here itself. We use that option rather than going home page, we create one from here itself. Okay, so. Creating a virtual network here itself, let's say VPC2, that's our VPC2, and the address range, you can go with some address range, select the type address, okay. and then submit. So just remove these ones, okay. And here also, I don't use that, no. okay. you can use that one, that's not a problem. And submit, let's say VPC2 submit, okay, right, and then address range address range has to be okay, within that range type it in. dot two dot zero dot zero dot zero go with twenty four i can go with twenty four right yes so because that is the vpc is sixteen class b and then my submit is class c so that's we can go with that. Then create a one. So VPC and then this is a submit. Okay. okay. Well, I've selected my VPC too. It's all selected. It's a new VPC. And then you can create that's a submit. It's selected all. So you see that this is so beautiful, right? So these kind of uh, advanced features you don't come across in AWS. It's all like so, for example, I want to create a VPC okay. while creating that gateway. That's not possible. You stop the page over it over there itself, you close the page or else, or you open another window, then you get the VPC and submit. But here, so this is get the VPC snap gateways when you submit while you create that. That's a good thing, anyway. Go with this. So validation pass. Great. In purpose, okay. So, all good. Now, go with that. Nine, eight, eight. So, that's our at eight, eight. All right. So I think you remember the purpose, right? So the purpose of NAT gateways. Right? So now, so NAT gateways which are attached to the private submits. Hope you remember that. Right? Now that makes your submit as a private submit. If you don't attach any kind of NAT gateways, that's in public. Uh, that's in public submit. Okay. Right. So we created and we PC with 
public submit. Now I created a VPC with private submit. Okay. Then I want to create a VPC with both submits, public and private submits. Okay, that's our another scenario. So create a new. But I think I need an uh, basic Just go with VPC3. It's a VPC3. So region. Next, the cider block. So it's IPC range, okay. IPC range, cider block. Okay, and then so create a submit, okay? Create a submit from here. Let's say submit one, and then the cider for that. In dot so three dot zero dot or you can say one dot zero slash twenty four okay and this is one submit okay and then you can just see them and then I don't want the default one just remove the default So, and what else I do? I create another submit. Okay. Or else let's rename them one second. I just remove that. So I just remove that. Create another submit. Instead of giving submit one, let's say I would say public submit here. Say the public submit. Let's say three dot right. So what's the cider block? Three dot zero slash zero. Not zero. Let's say one dot zero slash twenty four. Okay. So create one, and I'm creating another submit, which is a private submit. Ten dot three dot zero uh, one dot let's say or uh, two dot two dot zero slash twenty four okay. and right so two submits we are creating public and private submit next so security and you want to enable the bastion concept you can enable the bastion since I'm creating a private submit so I want to go with some bastion. Okay. Bastion one. And Azure Bastion submitted space. Okay. Let's go with this. Ten dot three dot two dot zero. Twenty four. That's a two dollars zero all we have taken, right? Okay. Let's say three dot. Okay. So and then can we associate with Bastion host? Or else I make this instance as my Bastion, but that's not the all right. So IP address does not match over here, or else. Now, we don't have those instances for with the IP address, right? That's a problem now. Because we have mentioned the IP range there. Hmm. 
already associated with the network. Okay, it's already associated. Yeah, that's one. Go to new net public. Uh, this is also already taken. Create a new one. Better. Let's create a new one. Add a public IP name. Let's say Bastion. Okay. Create one. So we do that. We take that one. That's better. Because all those ones already assigned. Next. And next. Just validation setting. So create that. So now we are creating three public submit, private submit, and also bastion submit. So we're creating three within same. Same VPC. Step line. So VPC private submits and then public submit passed and so we're all creating on same single one, single VPC. Then we make that private submit as private once after uh, what we call that whenever we create the net gateways. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Sir, so what is the difference between NAT gateway and Bastion host? Bastion. So you forgot Bastion? No, sir. I know, sir, but it's a, it's a similar service, sir. Like that, uh, it is in public subnet, inside the public subnet to connect the private subnet to uh, internet gate, internet. Like the internet purpose, no. they are using Bastion host, like the private subnet internet purpose. I hope the. Yes, so for if you want to lo log into the uh, private subnet from outside, so you need Bastion. Yes, sir. NAT gateway is similar, but sir. NAT gateway, see, NAT gateway, don't compare that. NAT gateway is a gateway which allows which makes your instance as in private. Bastion okay. is in, so uh, we call it Bastion host, I mean Bastion instance. So okay, okay. Uh, see, once you create your, uh, what we call uh, private subnets, okay? And you okay. want to make your submit as a private, we attach NAT gateway, then that submit will be a NAT gateway. Okay, sir. Okay. Then instances within the NAT, within the private set, 
and then you want to connect it, then we need paste it. Okay. Okay. So okay. NAT gateway makes you submit as a private. Okay, that's the first thing. So when you want to connect to the instance in the private subnet and you want to do SSH, then we need bastion. So this is something different in Azure, something different. AWS, so you need to create a different uh, VPC for that. And then you can create a VPC peering connection. But here, so you can create same bastion within the VPC. So that's a, something different. And that bastion instance will allow you to log into private. Something okay. different. Yeah. Things look similar to AWS, but some things are different. So especially these, uh, you see, in uh, AWS, you have internet gateways, right? Here, you don't see the concept called internet gateways. Okay. By default, they consider your public sub networks and submit as a public subnet. By default, but if you want to, if you, whenever you attach that NAT gateway, that subnet will be the private subnet. Okay. Otherwise, it's a default public. Okay. But whereas in AWS we have Internet Gateway concept also, but here yes. you don't find Internet Gateway concept. Okay. Something different. Okay. It's still being deployed because so we have getting different uh, instances in here. So it takes and might take some more time. Still it's being my part.
So now the demand is complete. We are in the resource. We are in the VPC, VPC T, and we have different subnets in it. So this is here we have a public subnet and we also have a private subnet. This is your bastion subnet. We kept instances according to your so requirement. Then so I want to make my private subnet. I have to make the private uh, this subnet as my private subnet. So once you attach an NAT gateway, this that will be your so private subnet. Now there it is NAT gateway. I want to attach a NAT gateway. So we already have a NAT gateway created. Now save it. So file because you cannot configure multiple watch network. Okay. So that NAT gateway we already have attached to a different uh, so VPC already we have done it. So I just I can take and so different NAT gateway attach that to this. Submit. Okay, we'll do that now. Going back to I'm creating another new get NAT gateway so that I can attach that to this uh, sub uh, private submit in the PPC3. Create a new NAT gateway. Okay. So go with an add gateway, add it. So just this was this was group and then net gateway name see with net so gateway two okay and then the region and availability zone everything is same next is on rules so select the public ip address okay just leave okay uh you can go with that next submit select this now which one that is vpct <clears throat> and then going with now there it is this is our this will be our private subnet now. Then new next. So it's running by addition. So now create it. So Still, it's being deployed. Good resource group. So, and then that's a resource group anyway. But now VPC3 and just refresh this. Refresh. That's a private submit. There is a NAT gateway, NAT gateway to attached. Okay. Well, then, so even you have options called manage users, you can add users also. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, I mean, these are the roles. So, roles and then users. So, we can add some users here. Hope you remember those users as have created. So search for those users and then also you can assign the roles. Okay. But so anyway, that's not what I'm looking for. So we go with uh, so you can have IAM, you see that go to IAM, 
add users here, add per user. I don't remember what was the user we have created yesterday. What are the user that is created? You can go with user. Right, you see I'm users one, add that user here, and he'll be able to control. You can give some permissions for the user. Okay, but anyway, so stop it. Now we're going to create instances in this so VPC, and you can make that instance either a public, either a bastion, or else you also have private. So what's for me? So create a new virtual machine. Okay. So this was good. So what's called machine name? Let's say PPC three private submit. Okay. And then it's so a region and all these ones just select something whatever. And then the size. So go with all the settings and then next is so go work straight away network. and then the network ppc3 is the network okay and then now we can decide that so what kind of instance we are creating i mean subnet so which is a public subnet Right, or I can go with a private submit here. Right, and then yeah, as usual, let's go with next. And you can just go with review and then. Validation passed. And we'll be creating instance in that private submit. Okay, it's, uh, did they go over return to violation? So I think I've selected generate a new key pair, right? Well, I don't want the new key pair. I go with existing key pair. Generate a key pair. Instead of generating, use existing key. Do you have any keys? That's my key. Review and delete. So that's in progress. Well, so why uh, see that now? So why the deployment was a fail? So what was the reason? The deployment, okay, creation. So it was a failure. What was the reason? It's a failure. I want to know the reason. Bad request. What do you mean by bad request? Is it, that's not our problem? Bad request in the sense. Mm -hmm. Try to redeploy that. 
try that again. Okay. Where it was going wrong, thing was all good, I think so. All good, no issues. Violation required information was missing. See what was information missing? Resource group. But I already have selected anyway. Yeah. The value must not be empty. Admin key. Why that admin key is. I'm not going with a new key, right? I'm going with existing key. I'm not going with this. Uh, in public key. Let me do one thing. Probably I would use some existing keys I have. When those keys don't work. I think that is where the issue is. Where are the keys? Let's use the key. PM5, I use that PM5, that might work for me. Probably he'll use that key. Let's see. But it does not work. Anyway, it's a private key. Okay, this is my yeah. I said this key does not work anyway. So I think we just need to go back to redeploy the whole thing again because I'm not sure whether what step did I select it. I can go with edit template. We need to do everything. Well, I discard that. I okay, don't want to report that. So you try that from your side, okay? You try to create that since uh, this is because of uh, what we call. So I think I've not selected the correct uh, IP ranges or something, but you try that, okay? Just create that. So everything goes perfect, only the public IP something went wrong. That's how we only want thing. Okay. Well, so but just do do create them these different types of uh, public and private submits from your side create that and then the next week we go with uh, a load balancer concepts in the next week and remaining concepts whatever we have i'm going to cover those remaining topics in the next week okay so any questions and next week i put them complete with them sorry and next week, the I put the complete with the course. Yes. Sir, the resume send yes now. Choose the reply on sir. My process just done. Yes, sure. Will be done uh, one hour. Okay. Okay, sir.
सर व्हाट्सएप जैसे था ना बट नॉन मेल नो विल बी डन इन वन आवर आई विल बी सेंडिंग फॉर मोस्ट प्रोबेबली इन 15 20 मिनट्स यू कैन चेक इट आउट ओके सर ओके थैंक यू सर हाउ टू मीट टू यू सर हाउ टू मेक सर एक्चुअली आई ट्राई टू मीट टू यू सर बिकॉज़ ऑफ एक्चुअली लाइक दैट प्रोसेस ऑफ like that uh, job purpose no no i don't understand sorry sir actually sir uh, venki also i selected uh, like that uh. one second let me stop the recording ah okay sir